All right, look at this wild dash cam video of a police pursuit out of Cheatham County all the way into Madison. Authorities saying the three people involved had no regard for anyone. News 4's Alexandria Adams is at the Cheatham County Sheriff's Department. Alexandria, this is disturbing stuff. It really is, Tom. I got to view a good portion of this 28-minute chase. You are going to get to see how it starts, how it finishes, what these suspects put officers through who step inside of these vehicles each and every day, and what they put these innocent lives out on the roadways just trying to drive through. It is like something out of a movie. Is this one of the worst pursuits you have been a part of? Yes, ma'am. Lieutenant Ken Miller at first tries to stop the three. They're not having it. They take off nearly dragging him along for the reckless ride. Officers pursue the stolen truck for miles. The suspects show no signs of stopping, driving over the line and speeding down this curvy road. It's at this point the suspect hits a deputy in her car. He keeps going, nearly hitting more innocent people. He hits another deputy, spinning them out. But one of our biggest concerns at that point was that they had uh, they'd already hurt, tried to hurt two of our officers. There was no give up in him. This guy is on a mission not to be caught by police, even driving on the wrong side of the road to get away. Officers attempt to use a spike strip. It doesn't reach. But just a few feet up the road, he drives over different spikes. The tires start to fall apart. That's the debris you see flying towards the dash cam. He nearly hits these motorcyclists. It's not until the suspects reach the intersection of Gallatin Pike and OHB that they're stopped. Hitting this truck and about six other cars, it finally comes to an end. He drove that way for so long, like, you know, this, he just felt like he was going to get away with this and that, that there was no consequences for his actions. Now we're told the female deputy is off of work right now because she received a concussion because of being hit so hard. The other deputy, though, he is back at work today, so he's going to be all right. Now, when I come back at six, I'll explain to you what goes into deciding whether or not law enforcement is actually going to pursue someone.